Si quieres ver juegos perdidos que no sean aventuras gráficas, te invito a que visites mi nuevo canal Another History. En la caja de descripción encontrarás la dirección. Hasta más ver. Detrás de la barra, ha dicho. ¿Dónde está el mensajero, tío? salida eh, ¿dónde está? el mensajero <risa> son los ordenadores, ¿no? por lo que se ve ahí Pero estoy buscando el mensajero no, no no me deja pasar por aquí pues no sé, tío ¿dónde está...? trastienda voy a hacer una cosa chicos porque no tengo ni idea si vosotros escucháis esto bien así que no sé si se escuchará luego mejor o peor pero nada vale pues no sé cómo coger el a ver vamos a hablar ah, es que quiero ¿Dónde vas? ¿Dónde vas? Mm, oscilógrafo. Obviously they're recording some kind of signal here. A ver. Hello. It's me again. What's up, man? Do I get my messenger now? That Juan bought himself a game station with it, with my credits. I want that messenger. Oh, well, you know, man. Well, I don't. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all. Uh, what? Hey, stay calm. You are now listening to me. And now. Okay, okay already. Stay behind the table. There you go. That wasn't so difficult now, was it? Detrás de la mesa. Oh. Detrás de la mesa. Jolines, que no veo nada. De verdad. Como todo tiene la misma visión. Ah, venga, que te pete. Detrás de la mesa. There's a strange code scrolling over the screen. I can barely make anything out. But it doesn't even look like Latin letters. Vale, pues no sé dónde está el mensajero, sinceramente. ¿Dónde está? Tampoco se ilumina nada, ¿eh? Bueno. Vámonos tras la trastienda, ya está. Es que no, no, no tenemos otro lado. Saf 
What happens if I'm going anyway? I guess Sop would probably just shoot you down, man. He's gonna do what? Well, sometimes he's bitter. Nervous and strange to be. You okay with that? Oh. <risa> Pero si no te importa. <risa> Macho, no puedo entrar. Mira, vamos a hacer una cosa. Vamos a enseñarle eh, el... Ah. Qué mal está esto, de verdad. Vamos a enseñarlo. Una... No te vayas, tío. No te vayas. Ay, madre mía, de verdad. Cosas más raras haces. No puedo pillar el mensajero por ninguna parte porque no está aquí. Detrás de la. Vamos a darle esto. Eso es, muy bien. A ver, esto. Hola. Y esto. Take a look at this. Ah. You are the technology experts here, right? El otro no, esto sí. This is you see in this picture. And that is definitely a parabolic dish, man. Don't tell me you didn't recognize that. Okay, okay, but where is this thing? We can find out. That's Safra. He sure can analyze that picture for you. If anybody can find out where the dish is, it's him. Great. Maybe you can call him over for a minute. Wait a minute. Safra. Hey, that. Hey, man. It's some kind of yuppie dude here for you about some picture. One picture. It's just one photograph, man. Give a minute. Is he okay? Come on. Tell him already. No idea, man. He don't look dangerous to me. Send him over. Okay, man. You go over to him. Bueno, no sé yo cuándo vamos a recuperar el mensajero, pero supongo que cuando menos lo esperes aparecerá en el inventario o algo. Wow. That's Hi. Are you Cypher? Who wants to know? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Peter Wright. Nice to meet you. We'll see if I'm pleased to meet you or not. <laughs> you want to show me a picture or something? Yeah. And maybe I'll have a couple of questions as well. I don't have a lot of time, you know. It won't take long. I have a few questions about your club here. I saw your posters. Really? Where? Brooklyn. Corner of Tillery Street and Flatbush Avenue. <laughs> yeah, of course. We were putting up posters over there last night. Actually, with these posters, what's this all about? It's just a statement for starters. We want to show them we're here. We're infiltrating the public with the knowledge that we're all controlled by aliens. And why the hell would you do that? It's a policy of small steps. We move on two tracks. People need to know what's threatening them. The danger has to be anchored subconsciously, in words and pictures. At the same time, we're working on deciphering the extraterrestrial codes. By the time we've got that cracked, the masses will be ready. Huh. Well, this actually doesn't sound that bad. It rather sounds like a pretty smart campaign concept. Why exactly are you plastering these posters on the telescreens? Because telescreens are the point of greatest attention. Everybody sees them. They're everywhere. I'd upload content on the <laughs> screens if I could. But that doesn't work. It's too difficult. And not to forget, illegal. That hmm. wouldn't be a problem. We're not exactly allowed to placard the things either. Correct. Central services would give you a pretty tough time if they were catch you in the act. If they catch us, yes. But they won't. About it. You wouldn't have seen anything out of the ordinary when you were there yet. Ah, amigo. Well, we had to get out of there pretty fast when a black van turned around the corner. Furoneta negra doblando la esquina. It was looking pretty scary. We cut through the park to get out. We were lucky, but without the excitement, it isn't any fun. I think they weren't after you. No? How do you know? They arrested my neighbor. Oh, well, all the better. <laughs> the last time I saw cops like that was at the Luddite search here in the neighborhood. What did your neighbor do to bring in a commando like that? I honestly have no idea. That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, better him than us. Ahí está el tema. Le ha preguntado por qué estos estaban pegando carteles justo en el momento en el que aparecieron esos esos polis y se llevaron uh, al vecino. Tell me, do you believe all this 
alien stuff? That alien stuff is controlling your life, man, and you got no idea. But I mean, my uh, boss is an alien as well. Can't argue with that. No way he really is. <sighs> you know, I used to think it was all bullshit too. But since I've been working on the code, I see things in a totally different light. Mm-hmm. Could it be that you bought my messenger from Juan? I didn't buy anything from him. Of course you did. After all, it was here. Here at your club. I didn't buy your messenger from him. Then how did he pay for this game console? He bought it with a messenger. 100% legal. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I just said. It was my messenger. That's grand theft. Is it theft to buy yourself a console? But I didn't buy one. The billing department of the United Bank Trust will see that differently. It says in their invoice that you bought the console used, paid for electronically at Floating Point, my company. Of course. Only problem is that I don't have a game console. You have to look after your things yourself. <laughs> but we left the messenger here at your shop. We aren't liable for the clothing and luggage of visitors to our humble cafe. You little buff. You think you have it all figured out, right? That's what they say. So do you think? Uh, okay, let's forget about it. Jolines. Qué crack, eh? Tienes respuestas para todo. I have another question. I have a couple of questions about your work. Uh huh. What is it you're working on right now? I analyze the broadcast patterns from a whole mess of signals I get from a line I tapped into on the global net. Uh huh. What kind of signals are these? If I knew that, I'd be one big step ahead. <laughs> it's a totally unknown, multi-encrypted code. Totally baffling. And what blows my mind the most? is that the code is changed daily and gets more complex all the time. And why do you want to crack this code? Because it's a decisive step to track down the alien conspiracy. We've got to decode their communications. Then we'll know what they've got planned and what their next step is. It's the only way to organize a meaningful resistance. So I take it it's an alien code, right? What? You don't believe it? Well, to be perfectly honest, no. Because you haven't got a clue. I've been working for years exclusively with encoded signals. This code is completely different than any other code that could be created by any known process. It's highly complex and extremely adaptable. It's almost like it knows that I'm trying to crack it and changes itself every time I find out something about it. Maybe the guy at the other end is simply a tick smarter than you. Can I took it too? In any case, I'm convinced that whatever is on the other end, it isn't human. I'm going to get those bastards. Vaya tela, macho. So you're a cryptographic expert? Yep. I don't want to boast, but I'd say I'm one of the best. I was a security consultant for five years at the United Bank Trust. Seriously? How did you get that job? I cracked their encryption and opened an account with 10 million credits. Vaya <laughs> tela. <laughs> yeah, they found out during an internal audit and traced my login. They made a fair deal. Either they would report me and I'd probably get five years, or I could work for them as a security consultant at the United Bank Trust for five years. Which is just about the same thing. Yeah, well, I guess that was an easy decision, wasn't it? And what exactly did you have to do? I wrote new encryption routines to seal the security gaps. And why didn't you just stay there? Do I look like I'd want to work at United Bank Trust? Okay, not really. Exactly. And furthermore, they eventually got another supplier for encryption algorithms. He was extremely good. No idea where that stuff came from. My time was up, and they didn't need me anymore. But yeah. What do you think about the cryptography prohibition, which is right around the corner? There won't be a cryptography prohibition. Yes, there will. I'm working on this campaign, and we're pretty certain that this law will pass. Aha, you are working on the campaign. Then you're from Greenberg and Winter, aren't you? Yeah. How'd you know? I took a look around your internal server once. Terrible security system and two indexes full of bad porno. <laughs> Pretty embarrassing, boys. Um, what? You hacked into our system and checked our server? Of course. You can tell your system administrator that he does lousy work. A certain bill, I believe. His His password is Sex Machine Bill 2044. <laughs> Ouch. Seriously? <laughs> really of course. The only thing I could never crack was your upload computer for the telescreens. They're really well protected. You can't get into the government networks. And now tell me again, why is the cryptography prohibition not coming? Oh, it's coming, of course. But that doesn't mean the encoding will stop. 
I bet anything that this alien code scrolling down my screen won't be one bit less encrypted when the law goes into effect. They want to unlock our heads and throw away the key. That's it. There is something else. No saben todo, eh? Your buddy mentioned that you can analyze photos. Absolutely. Because I have one here and maybe you could take a look. Of course I could. And are you really going to do it? Maybe. Definitely not for nothing. What do I get out of it? What do you have in mind? Of course, you don't have any money, do you? No. You don't earn that much as a communication designer. Okay. How about some propaganda, hmm? What do you mean, propaganda? I can't do anything illegal, just to be clear on that. No? But they're the most fun. <laughs> Not a chance. Okay, forget it. See what? Yeah, well, I will find it out myself. I'm certain of it. All right then. What is it you want me to do? Simple. Those stupid slogans on the telly screens get on my nerves. Uh huh. And you're a Greenberg and winner. What are you getting at? I'll give you a disc, and you upload the slogans from our club onto telly screens across North America for one hour. I think you're totally crazy. No way. I've <laughs> asked you to analyze a photo. Do you really think I want to go to jail for that? Okay. Let's say only on the telly screens in New York. No. The one in front of your door. We can talk about that one. What? Are you joking? This is ridiculous, man. Just one telescreen, and the one in front of our house. <laughs> Who walks by that one in this trash heap? That's why. And that's my final offer. I'm risking already a whole lot more than I would like to. And there's no way to explain this to my co-workers, you know. I'll have to do it alone, behind their back. Anyway, the telescreen next to your nuclear cafe. That's my offer. What do you say? Okay, deal. Deal. Here's the CD. Have fun. And the photo? Give it to me when you've uploaded the slogan. Okay. Fine. Vale, pues chicos, me parece a mí que queda claro lo que tenemos que hacer. Este CD lo tenemos que meter en la terminal que hay en nuestro trabajo y cuando terminemos, a ver este, si le damos esto aquí. No. Rows of mysterious codes. Somehow this reminds me of an old sci-fi movie. <risa> Una vieja película de ciencia ficción, Matrix. Qué chulo. Bueno, un pequeño guiño. Muy bien. Alien Attack Club. Well, if you want to believe this crap. Hombre, mensajero, por fin. Lo vamos a poder recuperar. ¿Qué dices? Ostras, creo que lo han lo han abierto. First I should talk to Cypher. Creo que han abierto el mensajero y lo han puesto patas arriba, me parece a mí. Sí, tiene sentido. Mesa con equipo de soldar. Ah, oye, espérate un momento. He leído mensajero, pero a lo mejor no era mensajero realmente. Hey, it's a wiring diagram for an old P8. Nowadays you'll find this processor in every microwave. <laughs> Microondas. Vaya tela. These are technical magazines on how to build processors. Only total computer freaks actually read this kind of stuff. <sighs> pues, chico. Yo juraría que he hablado acerca del mensajero, pero ¿cómo vamos, ¿cómo vamos a regresar si no tenemos el mensajero? 